Welcome to another Recall by Data IQ video. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Ken G, and I'm the head of data science at a sports analytics consulting firm. Today, we have the pleasure of bringing in Shashank Kalanithi. So Shashank is a senior data engineer at Beth Fanatics. He actually went from being a data analyst to now a data engineer, and he's gonna talk a little bit about his story making that progression. Shashank, welcome. That's a senior data analyst, Ken, but thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, absolutely excited, excited to have you here. Uh, the first question I'm interested in is, what was your experience like moving from a senior data analyst to a senior data engineer? It was very interesting. So the way the transition actually happened, right, was that I was working as a data analyst uh, and I'd been doing a data, data analyst work my whole career. And I had realized that the part of the job that I ended up liking the most was like the coding and the design of software. Because as an analyst, uh, because you're so close to the technology, you can do that work if you really want to. And I found it at my uh, previous company at Nordstrom. Uh, that's basically all I was doing. I was just coding as much as I could. And I would take on as many jobs as I could to continue coding. Um, so the transition was interesting because uh, a undisclosed fan company had reached out to me uh, wanting to interview me and I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, and it was for a, a ML software engineer position. Uh, based on the title, you can probably guess what the company is. But uh, they, they reached out to me for that uh, position. I uh, started studying for their interviews and then uh, Beth Fanatics had reached out for, to, to me as well. So what, I, what, what basically happened, it was kind of a series of like, desires and fortuitous events happening at the same time where I wanted to do something more coding heavy than being a data analyst. Uh, and then two companies, uh, two great companies reached out to me and uh, I interviewed with them and picked the one that uh, I thought would be a better fit for me. Amazing. And so I think one question a lot of people have is how does data analyst work differ from data engineering work? Yeah, so I, I think, um, and anyone that watches my YouTube channel, you'll know that I highly recommend that data analysts learn uh, Python, but realistically speaking, uh, most data analysts I meet are very heavily involved in SQL and um, Tableau. So data engineering, on the other hand, is a role where, um, and I remember I saw a post by uh, Zach Wilson a couple of months ago, where you kind of have like two major types of data engineers. You have the ones that are more software engineering focused and the ones that are more uh, closer to a DBA, but more like a SQL focused, right? Uh, when I'm talking about data engineering in this context, I'm talking about the software engineering type. And um, with data engineers, you'll have to learn a programming language. Uh, typically, it'll be Python, but you could also learn a JVM based language to further extend your skills like Scala or Java. And um, I would say the major difference in skill sets would be that programming language and software design skills and the um, kind of engineering best practices that come with, you know, just working in engineering. So for example, as an analyst, a lot of your focus is uh, focused on like getting the business, the insights they need as fast as they can, as fast as you can get them um, in a way that's manageable for, for the businesses. But as an engineer, it's a lot more important that you build up robust systems that uh, don't break um, and that are able to absorb the uh, amount of data that your company is working with at the uh, speed and velocity that it's coming in at. So uh, software engineering best practices, Python, a JVM language, a command line, and uh, knowing how to use cloud tools. Those are probably the skills you'll need as a data engineer. But as a data engineer, you probably will not need uh, Tableau or Power BI skills. So we talked a little bit about dashboarding tools. What type of tools and their, what type of functionalities do the tools have for data engineers? So where, whereas as a data analyst, you'd use a lot of uh, BI tools, right? As a data engineer, you're more focused on uh, the flow of data from one, usually, usually one source of data to your main data war uh, warehouse, right? Um, and that kind of gets us to our first tool. You'll be using, uh, you'll be working with a lot of data warehouses. Uh, and da data warehouses are basically more or less databases that their whole focus is on making it uh, quick and easy for people to uh, perform analytic operations on data. So you'll be working with a lot of data warehouses. You'll be working with a lot of cloud technology. Um, so, I mean, you know, you obviously have your big players like Microsoft, Google, and Amazon in, the, in that space. Um, you'll also be working with a lot of data orchestration tools. So data orchestration tools, are, their whole purpose is to make sure that uh, processes that are dependent on one another run at one after another. That way, uh, let's say, you know, in order for extract A uh, and extract B to be joined together, extract A and extract B both have to be in the database first. So this stops your database from maybe doing a bad join when extract A and B are not uh, synced up with one another. So data orchestration tools are uh, a very important part of that. And then you can kind of group a lot of those tools into like broader data pipelining tools. Uh, one of them, you know, obviously would be uh, data IQ's data pipelining tools. 
Amazing. So to expand on what you were describing about data IQ, data IQ lets someone who is maybe starting as an analyst and someone who's working as a data engineer have a lot of transparency through the entire data system that they have. Data IQ also has some great data visualization tools, as well as a lot of ML ops tools, which are becoming increasingly popular these days. What should people know when first moving into maybe a data analyst career versus when they're moving into a data engineering career? So you're talking about kind of moving in uh, straight into analytics or straight into engineering? Correct. Yes. Um, so I guess this question kind of extends into like, what's the big difference between these careers, right? Um, I would say as a, if you're very interested in the business, if you're very interested in the industry you're working in, right? Uh, a data analyst career might make a little bit more sense than a data engineering career. So for example, I work in sports betting. And uh, if, if you were kind of to gauge the knowledge of the business between the engineers and the analysts, you would definitely get analysts knowing a lot more about how sports betting works, how sports work. Um, a data scientist is kind of like a mix between the two where they have uh, some of the engineering skills of analysts and some of the uh, business knowledge skills of uh, uh, data analysts. Um, but I would say that the if you really care about like the business and the actual like what the company is doing that is very much a data analyst job a data engineering job is going to be uh you're, you're going to be spending significantly more time behind an ide uh behind a code editor or behind any of the you know various tools that can be used for the job and a lot of your job is going to be making sure that the analysts and the uh science folks can like get what they need done uh there's a really popular meme out there of uh two different people one has a ton of mics in front of her one has only one mic in front of them and uh, it's like the data scientist, data analyst, the one with all the mics in front of them, and the data engineer has only one mic in front of them. So from a company perspective, being a data engineer, is it can be a little bit of a thankless job, uh, but your internal stakeholders will be very happy with uh, the work that you do. Um, a couple of other differences is, typically you'll see a very big pay difference between the two uh, jobs. And um, I would say it, there are probably more data analyst positions available in, in the United States than there are data engineering positions right now. Amazing, Shashank. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, if you want to learn more about Shashank, he has an amazing YouTube channel that you can go check out. It's linked in the description as well as my information. Uh, until next time, we look forward to seeing you on Recall by Data IQ.